But then this guy, some guy, some man, some man I've never met, some guy who gets paid money to threaten and harass people, turns up at my house. Well, not my house, I wasn't stupid enough to give the bank my real address. <laughs> but he turned up at my mother's house. <laughs> and my mum freaked out. She got really nervous, she got scared, I suppose, for me. And she was like, Aiden, there's a guy here and you need to sign a bit of paper and he won't tell me what it is until you sign it. And if you don't sign it, you're going to go to prison. And if you go to prison, you're going to get abused. Think of your poor mother sitting at home worried about you. Jesus Christ, mum. If I go to prison and I get abused and I'm thinking of you, then we have a fucking problem. <laughs> but I, I don't want anybody in this world being scared because of me, certainly not my mother, so I try and fix the situation. I study, I ask people who know more than me. I even read the Bible since I base my image on them. <laughs> May as well see what would Jesus do. And if Jesus didn't have a mortgage, uh, he wasn't into that sort of thing. But he, he, he did end up in courts, and he was in court against the judge. The judge was called Pontius Pilate. And just to clarify, I don't care if you believe that Jesus was God, the Son of God, whether he even he existed or not. But what, what I think is cool are, are the stories. And one of the stories that I particularly like is when he's in court against Pontius Pilate. Pontius Pilate says, are you Jesus Christ, King of the Jews? Now, Jesus didn't say yes. He didn't say no. He said, is it you who's asking? Imagine that. Imagine being in the four courts. Are you Aidan Killian? Are you talking to me? <laughs> because if Jesus said yes, he's saying yes to being a name. And the courts might have jurisdiction over that name. And even if everything he said was true fact and honor, he could lose. And if he says no, he's in dispute, thus causing controversy. Again, the courts would have jurisdiction and he could lose. So by answering a question with a question, just like a Kerry man, that's ingenious. <laughs> Now, I know it didn't work out perfectly for Jesus in the end. <laughs> but I think, I think he was onto something. So I, I get this call from a private number, and I know most people who are in debt are smart enough not to answer private numbers. But just, just out of curiosity, people of Ireland, make some noise if you owe money to a bank. Yeah. 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 Pretty happy. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, after this, after this show, you won't owe any money anymore. <laughs> Uh, so I get this call from a private number and, and I answer because I believe that the universe loves me and likes to give me positive little surprises every now and then. So I say, hello, is that Aidan Killian speaking? Why would someone ring me if they don't know who I am? Um, who's, who's speaking, please? Oh, hi, it's Veronica here from the Bank of Ireland. Ah, uh, universe, fuck you. <laughs> but wait, no, I take it back. Maybe the universe is unfolding as it should. Maybe it's not a bad thing. Maybe she's not ringing from the collections department over 372,000 euros that's never going to be paid. Maybe she's ringing to tell me the truth. That money, to be more accurate, currency comes from nothing. It's backed by nothing and therefore all debts and all mortgages are just an illusion. <laughs> Fuck it. Maybe she's ringing to apologise on behalf of her employers for their greed and corruption that's caused, caused such misery to the beautiful people of this country. So I say hello, Veronica. How can you help me? <laughs> She wasn't ringing to help me, uh, or apologise, or tell the truth. Rather, she's ringing to ask me for my personal details, so she could confirm that I am, in fact, Aidan Killian. But that got me thinking, who am I? <laughs> I mean, am I Aidan Killian? I mean, that sound, Aidan Killian, that noise, Aidan Killian, Aidan Killian, Aidan Killian, is that me? Or am I the name written down, those 12 letters, A-I-D-A-N-K-I-L-L-I-A-N, is that me? What about my middle name, John, my name, John Killian, my name, J Killian, my name, capital letters or little letters? Or is there a difference? And if there is, why didn't we learn that shit in school? <laughs> I mean, am I the legal entity that was set up on my behalf by the state when my parents signed my birth certificate without my consent, may I add? <laughs> am I even my parents' son? A descendant of my ancestors that goes back to the beginning of the human race, which means that all of us are like brothers and sisters. How is? Nice to meet you. <laughs> or am I just me, here, this man, human being, flesh and blood with a soul that answers only to God? I mean, Jesus said, know thyself. Who am I? Sorry, Veronica, I'm going to have to get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> Serious matter, we need your details for security purposes. And may I remind you this call is being recorded for training quality purposes. An important matter, do you understand? Well, do I understand? <laughs> <laughs> 
understand according to Black's Law's dictionary, which is the dictionary that all the courts and banks use, the sneaky scumbags, means stand under. So the question is, do I stand under Veronica from the Bank of Ireland? The answer is no, I don't stand under Veronica or any person at any bank. I don't stand under any person in this world. The only being I stand under is my creator. Or possibly my girlfriend, if that's what it takes. <laughs> to take her to a place of extreme pleasure. To take her to a place where her soul and my soul become one and dance through the universe, leaving behind nothing but a shadow of bliss, the type of pleasure that most women in here will probably, sadly enough, never experience. <laughs> Unless she's there dating me. <laughs> Well, I can't say that to Veronica. She'd think I'm crazy, and God forbid some, per some person who's working at a bank thinks that I'm crazy. So I speak in her language, the language that I used to use when I worked in a bank. Hello, Veronica. Of course I'm willing to comply with all of your procedures. However, I have some of my own procedures that must precede your procedures that I'm authorized to carry out by myself. <laughs> <laughs> now, it's my policy here to record all incoming and all outgoing calls for my own personal amusement. <laughs> so you understand. Good. I'm going to ask you a few essential security questions, Veronica. And as soon as you answer these questions, I will answer whatever you like. But just before I ask those questions, can you please hold? <laughs> I like the flowers. I like the flowers. I like the mountains. I like the rolling hills. I like the fireside when the lights are low. Here comes my favourite bit, Veronica. Bum di addy, bum di addy, bum di addy, bum di addy, I like the... Hello, Veronica, I'm back. I hope you enjoyed the tune. I know I did. I chose because it represents beauty, love and nature, everything that is important in this world. But let's get back to those procedures, shall we? Now, as I said, as soon as you answer these questions, I will answer whatever you like. What is your second name? What's your date of birth? What's your address? And what are you wearing? <laughs> I'm not answering those questions. Well, Veronica, I'm a busy man. I need to go and write a joke. <laughs> so why don't you give me your mobile number and we can continue this call later on at my convenience. I don't just strange ring me my private number. Well, you know what, Veronica, you're right. So don't ring me again and fuck off. <laughs>